welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I will be showing you this makeup tutorial right here. And I am using the gorgeous Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I am in love with this palette. Although all the drama just went down and everything that has gone through this palette and with Morphe, I just, it's a really, really good palette. The colors blend so, so pretty. And the pigmentation is there. I don't know if people were just trying to just be mean and just not do like good swatches but you can see like I did use a brush for my lower lash line with one of the like more shimmery colors and it went on perfectly so I don't know I don't know what was going on there but yeah if you want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching so I already have my eyelids primed because I have watched um, several tutorials with this palette and I do know that the palette actually doesn't have a matte like um, all over the lid shadow and I was kind of up a little bit because you know obviously most of the palettes that you have you get at least one um, all over shade that you can like set your primer but you know it's okay I mean a lot of drama has come around with this palette with Jaclyn Hill and Morphe and I personally I think it's so dumb to be fighting over like not fighting but I mean like having so much drama around one single palette and one single brand I mean if you don't like them just don't you don't need to bash them so um, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette like I said today which I am really really excited like look at those colors they're so gorgeous okay mine didn't actually come with the name card so what I did is I went on the Morphe palette or the Morphe website and I looked up the Jaclyn Hill palette and then I clicked on that one and they have several pictures including the picture of the actual names of the pal of the eyeshadows so I just printed that and um, I taped it with like on the where the little message from Jaclyn is so I have the colors you know because if we are going to be filming tutorials and um, I should be able to tell you what colors I'm using and my blush like everything like it doesn't look that harsh like on real person so I just want to put that out because on camera it looks a little bit too orangey but I promise it doesn't look that bad for um, the palette I'm gonna start off with the color uh, silk cream and that's gonna be my transition color and I'm applying this with a Morphe M518 and I'm just using circular motions and I'm applying it to my crease it does have um, follow like it does it's very powdery and I can see that on the actual palette when I'm like putting my brush on the shadow and I mean as far as we don't have like a bunch of fallout on actual like under eyes that should be good and then I'm gonna take a Sigma E40 uh, clean brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges and then with a Morphe M441 I'm gonna go ahead and take the color MFEO and I'm gonna put that on my crease taking the clean E40 to blend everything basically this is what I do with every look I like having my E40 on hand because this is what I use to like make sure that I don't have any harsh lines on any of my transition colors or any place uh, any eyeshadows that I'm placing over I'm going to take the color butter and then I'm gonna apply that with a Morphe M433 and again on my crease and on my outer corner they are blending really really nice like all of them every time I apply a color on top of it it blends really really nice And then I'm going to go ahead and take the color Roxanne, which is like a brown with red undertone. And I'm going to apply that only on my outer corner with that same M433.
I'm gonna go in with the color mocha and I'm gonna apply that on top of that Roxanne color And then I'm going to be bringing the color Queen to my lid. Oh my god, that color is gorgeous. I've seen that it's better to use your fingers, so just go ahead and use your fingers. And then grabbing that um, Morphe M433 and grabbing Mocha again, I'm just going to apply a little bit on my outer corner. Working on my lower lash line now, I'm going to take this Lexi 231 small tapered blending brush and I'm going to grab the color uh, butter and I'm going to bring down to my lower lash line. Apply that really pretty gorgeous teal color. I'm going to take the Morphe E18 which is a tiny tiny brush and I'm just going to apply that a little bit of that teal color and apply it to my lower lash line. I'm going to take that Morphe M441 and blend it. And then because I want to add a little bit of that next color, or I didn't even say the name of the, um, the teal color is called Jada, uh, or Jada, one of those two. And then the color next to it, which is called Pool Party, I'm going to apply that on a pencil brush. Let's see how this works. And I'm just going to take a little bit on that pencil brush, which is really pigmented. I don't get what people were talking about. I'm just going to play that on my, on the middle of my lower lash line. And I'm going to grab the e, another E18 and I'm going to take the color Beam. So pretty. And I apply that to the inner corner. I love a good like cream, really bright color. And then for my eyebrow highlight, I'm going to take the uh, Pro Small Shadow 15 from Sephora. And I'm just going to take the color in light. And I'm going to take that to my brow bone. I think this look is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara in my falsies and I'll be right back. Now my lashes are on. I just used my favorite, the 614s from Salon Perfect. Um, just, those are like my everyday lashes. I didn't wanna use uh, something very dramatic. Um, I am loving this um, look. It's so pretty, I love that teal color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some NYX Wonder Pencil and this is in the color light. I'm going to go ahead and put some lipstick on and I'm going to take this Tarte Tardis Lip Paint and this is in the color Birthday Suit. Um, I actually got this for my birthday um, for the Sephora gift little thing that you get and yeah, it's one of my favorite colors. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. Everything is going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.